What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It's the Earthmaster here on this Thursday night, December 15th, 2022. It is about 7.45 here uh, in the p.m. in California, where we've seen a little bit of uptick ramping up today from about the northern end of the uh, state. That's going to be the southern end of the Cascadia. Uh, up and down the plate boundary, been pretty active here across California. Latest quake shows at 1.2 there on the San Andreas Fault. Looking at the latest solar weather activity, kind of want to show you guys this really cool SDO movie of some flaring from this bad boy right here. One of our major sunspots that have produced a number of some significant flares, upper M flares, quite a bit of C flares in there as well. Uh, we haven't seen any X flare uh, events yet. But uh, just looking at uh, the past um, recordings here show that uh, flaring and a bright flash, so to speak. That's a, uh, definitely an active sunspot region. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and check out space weather here real quick first from the solarham.net site. Uh, I seen they were having some issues earlier. Looks like they're potentially their um, server got hacked was redirecting people to um, some spam sites. Kind of crazy, because it happened to me earlier in the update. Uh, 3165 and 3163 are our main watches right now, our main sunspots to watch uh, for some further flaring. Now the latest imagery here shows 3165 exiting the area. Uh, it still will be geo-effective far as any major flares that will be produced. Um, but not any CMEs. The CMEs that may blast off uh, following a flare would be likely uh, directed away from the Earth due to that position. This one right here, 3163, is right at us. And it's looking a little bit more dynamic than it was this morning. This sunspot up here as well. So uh, this one is directly in Earth view. Now we really haven't seen any um, major flaring. 3163 doesn't look like it's had any noteworthy events. Uh, doesn't mean that it hasn't had any events, just anything above M 2.0. That's the M flare level. And uh, these are the flares that have kicked off from 3165, the departing region. And as you can see here, there's quite a bit of them. And that's just a minimal amount. Uh, if we were to look at all of them, we'd probably have maybe close to 20 or so over the last couple days. Things have been very, very active. Uh, in that uh, sunspot region. So we'll continue to watch those two areas. 99% certainty, obviously, of a C flare. M flare at 70% chance and X flare, which we're kind of looking towards possibly a 15% chance because it's crackling like crazy here with M flares. A lot of times we'll be, uh, I'll be using that phrase there, crackling with uh, C flares. But this has just been almost a nonstop event here of uh, M flares over the past couple days and we just haven't really reached up here yet into the X-Flare category but uh, could be uh, soon, very soon. We also have a coronal hole down here, number 54, positioned on the south southern um, section here of the sun. I don't believe this is going to be geo-effective with those charged particles um, as far as the high speed uh, solar wind stream goes. Um, there's our sunspot 3163. So uh, maybe looks like there's another one up north here, 55. We'll watch that in the coming days as it kind of rotates here in the view. That one could be a likely culprit of, of some potentially further enhanced uh, three-day geomagnetic forecast details here. But for now, things pretty mellow, green across the board. No unsettled conditions there uh, for the, uh, the Aurora watchers. Oh yeah, here they were mentioning about their uh, site being down. Uh, I'm kind of glad that they uh, addressed everyone because I found it really odd this morning when I was doing that update and it took me to, uh, uh, I clicked on this page, a page I use quite often, and it took me to a really weird spam site. It was not cool. Uh, let me turn off the uh, Earthquake 3D bells. I was just looking on here. Hopefully not too many of them went off while I was chatting. But uh, yeah, solar weather activity kicking up. We'll watch that here pretty closely, 3163, 3165. Okay, earthquake activity, as we can see here, kind of lighten up and down the board here of California, uh, roughly from about the southern end here of the Cascadia in Northern California, all the way down south. Seeing uh, a little bit of increasing movement 
Now, I know we just seen a, uh, a 2.9 earlier this uh, afternoon here off the coast of Petrolia into the Gorda, kind of like, it looks like it's on the Gorda plate, but it's just shy of the Cascadia, about 29, uh, 22 kilometers deep. Had some further movement over here uh, this morning as well near the Blue Lake area, about 20 kilometers deep. Uh, so that's definitely associated with the Cascadia subduction zone. Um, let me go here to the trimmer map. Kind of curious to see what we got. Uh, got 206 epicenters around the Vancouver area. And let's see here. Some movement down in Oregon as well. Nothing showing up in Northern California. So a lot of times we'll do, we will see this uh, trimmer event take place with some subsequent uh, earthquake activity back building. But um, we got the back build, but no trimmer being reported down dip here of this area currently. Okay, uh, into the Clear Lake Volcanic Field, lighting up here as well. A little spotty throughout the region around Cobb Mountain, but uh, it's still earthquake activity. Some twos and ones kicking off uh, within the close proximity, I'm sure, of some of these hydrothermal operations within feet literally of them there's a good uh, there's a good number of them in this uh, area utilizing the the uh, heat below to create energy from raw sewage <clears throat> all right some activity there off the actually right on the san andreas fault looks like the creeping segment this area has shown some increasing activity over the past couple days here just outside of the solidad region up against the Diablo range, the latest quake of 2.1 on that segment. A little bit of activity near the Ridgecrest region as well. Also looks like into the concrete jungles here of LA, 2.6 near Anaheim. Just coming in within the last hour, 7.8 kilometers deep off of the, uh, uh, what is that? Peralta? Possibly a Peralta Hills Vault. I haven't really heard too much about it. There's a lot of fault systems buried underneath the city and uh, some that have been relatively quiet and got to keep an eye on those. Uh, some movement also off of the San Jacinto, San Jacinto fault zone and typical movement down in this area. No major swarms around the San Andreas fault as far as the southern segment goes. Uh, nothing on the Brawley seismic zone either. Some movement out in Texas today. Looks like a couple twos and threes. And... What do we got up here? Yellowstone area, not really showing a whole lot, um, but let's go ahead and check out Yellowstone real quick. And okay, that's the latest updated one. Not seeing a whole lot um, at all. This activity here is from a, uh, I believe that was the 5.7 that kicked off down off the coast of, um, ooh, way down south in the Middle America Trench earlier much earlier this morning but uh just kind of goes to show you how it will show up at a distant station there but no earthquakes uh really not a whole lot going on there at yellowstone currently uh into the seattle area kind of miss those folks up there but they did have some movement near morton washington earlier 2.8 nothing really major going on or being reported across the region for now uh, the eastern portion of the country, pretty quiet. Oklahoma, one earthquake out here. And the Caribbean area, uh, looks like most of the activity here, centered around the uh, swarming region in between these trough zones and the Puerto Rico Trench. Uh, South America, a couple earthquakes there earlier and uh, last night, checking out the earthquake 3D program here. Uh, for South America, there's some smaller quakes there in the mix there, a couple twos. Um, but the majority of that looks like that's from older, uh, some older movement. Looks like a little bit of activity up north as well. Um, just off the coast of Mexico, it looks like and some movement there around the Baja California region. A couple earthquakes showing up on the globe. That is really not on the EMS or the uh, USGS model here. Missing a couple fours within this area, uh, but that would kind of go along with what's going on up here. Just increasing pressure movement here across the eastern Pacific. Now, Alaska's seen some activity as well. This migration 
this little uh, earthquake here kind of migrating away from that 6.3 that struck over here a couple days ago uh, further to the east 4.2 at 157 kilometers deep so subduction zone definitely showing some activity there today a little bit of movement outside of anchorage up there 4.0 uh, looks like about three kilometers deep or so um, and some typical very typical movement up there in alaska right now now the western pacific out here looks pretty active doesn't it seen uh, definitely seeing a little bit of uptick in movement out here today across the area the latest one shows a 4.5 japan region uh, a couple earthquakes within the japan area earlier this afternoon and um, further down south around the Papua New Guinea area and Tonga region, the last one of 4.3 there in Tonga, 424 kilometers deep. A couple fives out there as well, scattered about this major seismically hazardous zone. A lot of movement takes place out here, and it's pretty active um, today. As uh, far as westward here, not a whole lot. Uh, a couple earthquakes there. Eastern Afghanistan and the latest one in India, or it says 103 kilometers east here. It looks like in the uh, Myanmar area. Western, further west. Check out the Earthquake 3D globe here. What have we got? Another 2.2 coming in, looks like. Um, some small earthquakes out there. Uh, scattered out in this area, it looks like. Nothing major going on. Off the coast here of Morocco, we got a couple twos and some threes coming in here to the plate boundary. The Atlantic Ocean, though, looks pretty uh, quiet. Not a whole lot there going or going through the uh, uh, divergent boundaries or any other fracture zones out there. All right, uh, let's see. South Sandwich Islands, I believe that was from this morning. Yep, uh, 5.2, about 1 o'clock in the morning. So California lighten up um, another earth earthquake there in the geysers, a 1.8. Got to watch that. Um, I think we might be slipping back over here to that teeter-totter effect eastern side. So we'll keep a, a close eye on that uh, activity. As far as the uh, New Zealand folks go, uh, I got so many links here. I'm just one of those people. I hundreds of links to different sites with hundreds of windows open, pretty much. Well, not, maybe not hundreds, but there's a few. Uh, latest activity here around New Zealand. Looks like 23 minutes ago on a 1.9. Uh, mentioned there in that circle. Not a whole lot of activity kicking up. Uh, just mostly microquakes here in this region over the last uh, 12 hours or so. I'll give a quick glance here at the volcano drums see what it picks up this is going to pick up any seismic activity for the most part but to be specific uh, Taupo volcano pretty quiet not a whole lot going on there no major swarms no major earthquake activity not even any minor activity showing up looks pretty uh pretty calm for now fairly calm however you want to take that Hawaii some movement again around Pahala this is stretching out towards the Lohi Seamount gotta watch that remember uh Earlier this year, we've seen a little swarm around the Lohi Seamount. That died off, and now it looks like we may be seeing a migrational pattern here stretching down into that area. Now, the volcano hazards here on Mauna Loa, the latest updated image or uh, update here. Let's see if they put it out. Yes, they did. Uh, Mauna Loa still not erupting. Um, anything new? Trimmer, no trimmer. It's no longer detectable. Now, the significance of the continuing inflation while the flow field is inactive is not yet clear. They keep saying that. It is common for eruptions to wax and wane or pause completely. We get that. Uh, no lava there at the lake or the uh, caldera. But my curiosity on the seismograph stations is uh, keeping me up at night. Go over here and see what we got and there's definitely an earthquake there but also at the same time the um pahala earthquake activity will be picked up on the seismograph station but that's not what i'm concerned about i'm looking at all of these hundreds of other little bitty smaller quakes now the usgs is not reporting any of this at all 
Um, at first, when this started happening, I thought it was wind events. Sometimes wind events can come over like that, but I don't believe that's wind events. And this is something that I haven't seen there at Mauna Loa before. And this only started once everything stopped below. The, uh, the Fisher 3, you know, stopped erupting. Mauna Loa ceased to erupt and also uh, Kilauea Volcano stopped roughly about the same time. And then this started happening, this major swarm of earthquakes. And that's exactly what they are. They look like very small microquakes, something you would see at a, obviously an active volcano. Now, inflation rates are continuing, so that may have something to do with obvious the obvious inflation. But the outcome, I don't know. This is something that we'll have to watch. Uh, the tilt meter... Let me bring this in here a little bit more and see what we have. Tilt. Uh, not the camera. Let's see if I can get this GPS. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. I just want the tilt meter. What's going on here? Do I need to go really close? Uh, why is this more difficult today? <laughs> um, looking at the tilt meter monitoring station there up on the summit, uh, right around the, yeah, about the northeast side of the caldera. Still showing that tilt increasing here. Um, since about the eight, well, yeah, since about the eight time period, about the ninth, somewhere around here, uh, we're in, when the, uh, volcano just all of a sudden stopped. So I, I, I don't know. It's a little on the strange side, I have to say. Um, webcams, not a whole lot going on. It looks like the views are completely covered. But uh, if I get a chance, I'll see if I can email one of these uh, geologists and ask them about that. All that activity I'm seeing on the list there. I mean, it, or on the seismograph, it looks like there's a lot of activity. And uh, just kind of see what they say. I, my week's been overloaded. Uh, this is actually one week out of the year. I can say I'm pretty much overloaded today. Uh, live stream went down earlier because, well, it went down twice today. Once suspiciously at about 3 o'clock in the morning and the second time here about 4 o'clock this afternoon, which was my fault because I had a an update that was uh, getting ready to install. And uh, I d was supposed to postpone it here for another week or so. But uh, the computer didn't get my request and uh, decided to reset the computer and install that update. Of course, that's going to bring the stream down. But we're all up to date. Everything looks good. And the live stream, of course, is up and running now. But it's been one heck of a crazy week. I did like three major exams today. I got one more for finals week. And these are some huge tests. There's so much stuff about weather I didn't even know about. Uh, ge geology. A whole bunch of stuff. Anyway, I'll probably sleep good tonight, hopefully. So we'll continue to watch this, folks. See how this plays out with all this activity. I can say it's a lot. That's a lot of uh, solar flaring activity with no X flares yet. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Is there anything else that I need to check on here? Got a major cold snap coming in to uh, portions of the country. Not here in California, unfortunately. We're looking at some warming temperatures, but uh, oh, quick glance here of some uh, temperature uh, differences here across the center portion of the country. Watch this cold snap just kind of come in. Um, supposed to have temperatures down way down there into the... Uh, can't remember the exact temperatures here. Uh, let's see here. Now I think these, yeah, there's some of that colder air just coming down. Man, there's some negatives. Whoo, it's gonna be chilly with all this cold air coming in. We're getting a little bit of warm spell uh, out here along the west coast, but that's gonna come right on down here. Make it feel a lot like winter. Even in the portions of uh, the Texas area, it looks like Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska. Oh, yeah, starts getting colder up north. 
But it's wintertime, right? We're supposed to have that. We are supposed to have that. All right, guys. Have a good day. Good night. I will be back here tomorrow on the drawing giveaway that's been postponed till Saturday just due to excessive work overload right now in school. Um, can hardly keep up, so we're going to do the update. or I mean, the uh, drawing on Saturday around noon for the members only. So we'll do that uh, whole thing again. We always try to do it right around the middle of the month. So we're not really too far off here with uh, a Saturday delivery. Looks like Yellowstone swarming a little bit there on the um, seismograph station. So I didn't really see anything being picked up. But uh, who knows, maybe it just kicked off here. All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe, and uh, we'll chat to you guys sometime tomorrow. Have a good one. Peace out.